this fly is Hammer Creek's uh, CDC Brassy. I call it a CDC Brassy Flashback, but that would be too long of a name. So I'm just starting off here with a size 12 scud hook, and I tie these down to 16s. And to start, I'm going to use just some black A dot as my thread. Just get that started. And with this, I'm going to use a medium copper wire. And I like to tie in or use a, a bobbin when I tie my wired body flies. So I'll just start to follow the contour of that hook all the way down past the bend. Again, you want to take your time with this. The better your wraps are underneath, the less it's going to show when you start to wrap the body up. And since I'm going to be using a bobbin, I'll just take a couple of whip finishes here just so that I can remove my remove my thread entirely as I start to wind this up and I'll add that back in later. So now that I have my thread removed I'll just tighten up my copper wire and I'll just start to make nice segmented turns all the way up the body of this fly. Important as you continue to advance this up that you change this this pivot point it's going to eventually create a weakness in the wire and you want to make sure that it doesn't break off prematurely so every couple of turns I release more I'm just going to reposition my fly here just to give me a better angle so when I attach the thread it hopefully doesn't slip off so then I'll bring my thread back on take it right back up to where the wire ended and I'll bring that up and give a couple of nice tight turns here one more I'll keep tension on that and then I should just be able to helicopter that off so here's the flashback part of it I use a <clears throat> pearl piece of tinsel I'm just going to tie that To the back of the fly. This is going to look like a little wing, little wing casing. And you can see there, just want to make sure that it's nice and centered. And then, just like a brassy, I'm going to take a strand of peacock curl. I'm going to trim the end. and tie that in. <clears throat> and it's important to note there's two sides to peacock curl. There's that flat side and then there's the shiny side. You want to make sure that you're tying that flat side down so it gives you the shine that you're looking for when you start to, to wrap it up. So I'll tie that in, and then I can just start advancing my peacock curl up to the front. And I'll take a couple of weaves back on it to make sure that I've got it in there nice and secure. Advance it up to the front of the eye, make a couple of wraps. Then I can trim that off. I'll fold my flash back over, give a wrap to hold it, make sure that it's in the right position. Take another wrap, and then every wrap that I do after this, I'm advancing back away from the eye, because the last thing I want to do is, is crowd that eye, because I've got one more piece of material to tie in, and that is the CDC. CDC comes in a couple of different varieties. For this, I like to use the CDC Puffs, and this is just a, a done CDC Puff. I'm going to place that right on top of the fly, bring it back just short of the bend, 
and then tie that in with a couple of wraps on top. Pull that back with a couple of additional wraps in there and start to create that head. Once I'm satisfied with the way that that looks, then I can just whip finish the front of it. And trim off the excess. And spread that out. And then to this, I'll just add a drop or two of head cement. Make sure not to get any on the on the CDC to bind those up. And then that fly is finished, and that is the Hammer Creek CDC Brassy.